Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. We begin our special report this morning on athletes and heart disease. Could your son or daughter have an undetected heart condition? Researchers estimate that about 90 young competitive athletes die in the U.S. each year from sudden cardiac death. Joining us this morning to talk about the risk that comes with being a student athlete is physician assistant Andrea Winters. Good morning, Andrea. Thanks for getting up with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Why does this happen? What's wrong with the hearts of these young kids? Well, there's a number of conditions that can cause, unfortunately, sudden or even unexplained death in athletes. Um, most commonly is that of a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And then other conditions such as myocarditis or an infection in the heart or even um, conditions that can affect the electrical conduction through the heart tissue. Okay, so how do these go undiagnosed or undetected? Well, you know, we have to remember, first of all, that for most of our students and athletes, they have entirely normal and healthy hearts. For those that don't or have a condition that would put them at risk of a sudden or unexplained death, actually there's typically going to be some sort of clues that can be identified prior to that event um, and can be picked up at the time of a well-child exam or a sports physical. For some of these kids, do they not notice the clues because it's it's normal to them? I think that's what becomes the difficulty of making sure at the time of an exam that we do a very thorough um, and thoughtful exam, asking the questions that will prompt the children and the students to think about what might actually put them at risk. Um, they may think it's normal for them, but if we put it in a different perspective or ask the questions in a certain way that can help them to spark, oh yeah, this may not be normal. But it may have to do you know, with their own symptoms or limitations, but family history is an important part of that, um, as, and also the exam. Okay. Certainly providers um, recognizing findings on exam that would warrant further evaluation. So let's uh, bring it closer to home. Moms and dads and the kids themselves, what should they be a little bit leery about? What isn't normal? Right. Well, exercise provokes symptoms is the one thing we think of the most. So kids that are having chest discomfort, um, lightheaded or dizzy spells, or fainting when they're exercising or afterwards. Um, that's probably one of the big ones. Exercise intolerance. So, you know, asking children, gosh, are you keeping up with the other kids on the team? Um, do you feel like you're lagging behind? How are you doing compared to your performance last year? Is there a change? Are you getting more short of breath? Are you having something that's causing you to have to stop and rest before you typically would need to? Um, other things that we would worry about would be unexplained um, fainting spells or chest pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to caution you, most chest pain and fainting in children, young healthy children, is not heart related. Um, mm -hmm. But those cases that are eluding evaluation, we're not finding an you know, identifiable cause, or maybe we're not able to treat it, those are the ones that we may warrant for their evaluation. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's important to go to that annual physical? Absolutely. Um, our providers are trained to look for the things that put kids at risk of these dangerous entities. Mm -hmm. um, whether, you know, and I think too, from a parent's standpoint, maybe talking to your child beforehand to get them thinking about what they may want to discuss or what may be pertinent, but also evaluating and knowing that family history is really important, not just for the immediate family, but grandparents and mm -hmm. siblings and maybe aunts and uncles and such. So that's another important part of this. All right. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's been in the news recently, yeah. so a lot of people have a lot of questions. So thanks for kind of laying out all on the line for us. Thanks so much for having me. All right.